Okay, we're going to skip ahead a few light years, maybe a few dozen light years, and look at web server programming using Squeak, or in this case, Faro, which is a variation of Squeak. We're going to be looking at the Seaside web server, which is based on Faro, which is a variation of Squeak. It can also run on Squeak. And I've come to the peercms.com webpage to download a version of Seaside that also has Peer in it, because we're going to look at Peer 2 in later uh, episodes. So you start the download, and you keep on going, and eventually you'll get a zip file, which you can unzip, and you will get a version of uh, Seaside, the web server, with Peer installed, running on a version of Squeak called Faro. <sighs> Sorry. So let's go ahead and start that. All right. When you first start Peer or Seaside, you will get a message, at least on the Mac, asking, do you want to give it access to the internet. This is because Seaside, notice the Seaside control panel, is in fact a web server, a one-click install web server. Notice the little orange thingy, the starfish, shows that it's active. We will stop it, go back to our web browser. That's not our web browser. And we will go to localhost 8080 and the browser and it says oops it can't actually get there well that's because we turned off the web server so let's turn it back on start the web server one click start go back and sure enough if we refresh we get a seaside welcome page the dispatcher which shows us all the running or potentially running Seaside applications. So let's go to the examples. And our simplest example is the counter. And if we click on the plus plus link, it adds one to the counter. If we click on the minus minus link, it subtracts one from the counter. It can go in either direction. We but this is very powerful because what's going on is back at our Seaside server. Let's go ahead and open the browser. And we were looking at WA counter component, I happen to know. So we're going to find WA counter. Yes. WA counter has a few methods. It's a subclass of WA example component. You notice that the Faro version of Squeak, technically it's a fork of Squeak, uh, has slightly different uh, system browsers, slightly different menus, etc. But pretty much all the same things that were available in Squeak are available in Faro and the Seaside web server was written around Faro, so this is the easiest way to learn more about Seaside. Okay, getting back to WA counter. You notice we have an initialize, super initialize. In other words, go to the super class of WA counter, WA example counter, and do its initialize. Then set an instance variable count. You notice we do have a single instance variable count associated with this class. Set that to zero. And now whenever when you start up that particular class, an instance of that class, Seaside will create a web page and send the WA counter object the message render content on with the parameter HTML, which is basically 
an object that knows all about the web page that it's destined to work with. So let's see what we can do. Let's, let's shrink all this so we can overlap our windows slightly. Notice that right now we have a plus plus. Let's add another plus and save it. First name, last name. I'll just call it first name and last name for now. Notice instead of asking for initials, it asks for first name and last name. Now we're going to refresh. And sure enough, instead of a plus plus, we get a plus plus plus. But clicking on it calls back the same method within um, Smalltalk, the increase method. And in fact, if we look, scratch it out a little bit, we see the increase count equals count plus one. So we've added, or we've changed the link to be plus plus plus, and that automatically calls on the server side this increase method which just says count equals count plus one. Likewise, we could go to the decrease method, which says count equals count minus one. Go back to rendering and say minus minus. Save it. And refresh again, and sure enough, we click the minus, 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 minus link, and it subtracts one. Plus, plus, plus link, and adds one. And this is actually tied to the back buttons as well. It keeps a record of all your changes as you go along, which is pretty handy. I can see reasons why it might not be, but for this simple example, it's, it's quite useful. So there you have it, our first change made to a seaside component that changes how it draws. And in our next lesson, we will make things a little more interesting.